from the horses and bosses of life It's confusing What do you need to do to thrive? What else do you try? How do you face the world and still touch the sky? Bright view gives you a whole new perspective Oh, right view, trust me it's effective This is Broadview with Mercy. Hello, viewers. It's good to be back on this platform. This is Broadview with Mercy. I am excited to be back, and it is Happy New Year from me to you. I want to appreciate all you, my viewers, for your comments, for your prayers, words of encouragement, even the likes. We appreciate you greatly. It is a new year, and I plead with you, please, let's do it again this year. God bless you for choosing Broadview with mercy. Um, just a quick one. Today, I want to just give us a few tips that will help us to have a great year. Few tips, about seven or six of them, that will help us to achieve greatness in the year 2023. I'd like to uh, let us understand that the year has started already. There is no time to, wait, uh, to waste. The ball is already rolling, the clock is ticking, and so we don't have to keep contemplating uh, what do I want to do? What do I don't want to do? Let's not waste time anymore. Start already what you have planned before now because time means a lot when we want to achieve greatness. So how can we achieve a great year? Um, I want you to know first of all that each new year comes with great opportunity. Each new year comes with this Spirit, and in fact, I like the spirit of a new year. It comes with this spirit of newness. A new year comes with uh, opportunity to make us hope again, opportunity to make us feel that we can do what we failed to do in the previous years. I don't know about you, but so many, especially in the year that we just ended, 2022 was such a year that. Can I liken it to a very long nightmare? A lot of people couldn't wait to wake up from that nightmare because of the economy situation, a lot of things, inflation, because of things here and there. It was not funny, but thank God you and I scaled through and we are alive today. We thank God for that. And so this is another opportunity to live again, another opportunity to hope again, another opportunity to to grab what we couldn't grab in the first, in the last year. You know, so the, every one of us, the moment we shouted Happy New Year this year, we're all given a blank check, what I would call a blank check. We're all given the same opportunity. It now depends on what you and I choose to do with. And really, I don't know what you have started filling your year with already, because we know it or not, we are doing the right thing or not, the, the blank check, it is no longer blank, blank check, it is no longer a blank page. We are feeling already negative or positive things. And that is why I deemed it necessary to share these little uh, tips, these few tips that I feel will help you. What are the tips? Number one, God. I'd like to encourage you to look for God this year like you have never done. You see, life began in God. It is God that gave us life. We don't have a life of our own. And that is why to succeed in this life, to be great in this life, we need God. He is our source. I like you to seek Him like He is your last resort. Your only, I mean your first and your last resort about everything talk to him about everything don't be uh, 
don't join the people that feel oh these are flimsy flimsy things to talk about god is not interested in this area of my life no talk to him about everything no matter how small they are he is interested carry him along you know you do this here and i tell you you will he's interested to guide you all the way now number two i'd like you to have a desire have a desire what do you want in life what do you want from life don't live your life like let everything you know we are sure living whatever we see we go after all we can't come and kill ourselves no let that not be our mentality this year this year i'd like you to be precise i'd like you to be to be to 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 be sure of what you want what you want to achieve then you'll be able to recognize them when you see them because if you don't know what you want even when you meet opportunity you won't recognize them even when i like to take our mind to uh, an incident in the scripture the bible said there was a man that had that had been in the situation that he was for 38 years wow look at that for 38 years i want to believe that he was praying i want to believe that he wanted to get out of the problem but he didn't recognize the solution when he saw the solution the bible says even when jesus walked up to him and said what do you he, he told he said to the man would you want to be made whole he started giving him stories he started giving excuses why you remain where you remain i like you to be precise with what you want so that when you meet the opportunity when you meet solution you will recognize that oh this is what i've been looking for and then number three set practical goals on how you will achieve what you want number two you are going to be sure of what you want so number three what can i do what are the necessary steps practical steps that i need to take in order to achieve what i want you can't just afford to live your life to chance this year set goals goals that are achievable practicable because so many times we set goals that are way beyond what we can achieve and it leaves us in frustration in depression and all of that so this year i want you to set goals that are achievable you can start by setting weekly goals in fact daily goals you can set go daily goals then weekly goals and yearly goals monthly rather monthly goals and then yearly goals before you know it you discover that as you set as you keep on that 300 and i mean uh, the 365 days before it will be over you will know you will realize that you have covered a lot of ground and god is there to help us remember you started with god and you're going to continue with god even in setting goals number four i would like you to stay focused please be very very focused this year this is not the year to um to be distracted this is not the year that you want to live your life looking at so many things anybody can come your way tell you anything and you jump at it please shun distraction this year focus on the one thing you want to achieve so that every other thing else now staying focused means saying no to any other thing else and doing everything to achieve what you want to achieve and number five the little little things we do daily goes a long way to to make us who we are your daily activities your daily routines what you do every day forms i mean it becomes a habit so pay attention to the details pay attention to things you do daily because as a matter of fact they become the puzzles that makes up the bigger picture and that is why you necessarily need to keep it i mean be focused stay on it don't be distracted and i tell you it will be a great year the key word here is discipline the key word in the little little things we do i want to draw our, our attention to discipline you see people um, i heard people say 
I don't want to set new re year resolution anymore. Oh, it's a scam. Oh, I've not been able to achieve any of those things. So I don't even want to try it anymore. And the rest of them. Can I tell you this day that it is not a scam? New year resolution in itself is not a scam. It is what we do and how we go about them that determines where we end at the, I mean, and the results we get at the long last. So discipline, you need to discipline yourself this year. What are the things that you need to, uh, the boundaries you need to set for yourself so as to uh, be able to achieve what you need to achieve? What are, the, what are the restrictions you need to give yourself? Because the truth is that self-discipline is the, is the greatest and the most effective. People can set rules for you and uh, it does not really matter. You, you will be able to pay more attention to even avoid because you don't want to hurt maybe the authority, the management. If you work in an office, you don't want to offend them. You don't want to take laws into your hands. So for one thing or the other, you see yourself keeping, a, keeping the rules and the regulations. But when it comes to the, the, the restrictions and the boundaries you set for yourself, it becomes so difficult for you to achieve. That is the reality. And that is why it is the greatest and the most effective. If you can set boundaries for yourself, oh, you'll be able to achieve a lot. Because the truth is that the real bondage is when there are no boundaries. The real bondage, the real captivity, captivity, it is when you don't have, nothing is limiting you. You are sure living and anything goes. So please be disciplined this year and the, 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 the goals you set will be achievable. I will encourage you to rest. Number six this year, I will encourage you to take time to rest. Please take time to rest this year. Don't assume you are strong. Don't assume, oh, it is just from here to Bega. It is just from here to Ikeja. I will go and before. If you cannot, if you know that you have stretched, like you have really, really stretched beyond limit, you need to take caution. Because you need to be alive before any greatness or any success can be achieved. Please take time to rest this year. When you rest, you are actually recharging your battery. You are actually uh, regaining things. You are rejuvenating your your, your vital organs, and you, you come out more. You come out stronger. You come out better, and the rest of them. Take time to rest this year, and everything that comes with real rest. Not when you are resting, you are involved in mental work. You are taxing your your brain and the rest of them. Please, when you need to rest, make out time to rest. And number seven, the last one for now, number seven, the last tips on for I me mean for to a successful and a great year will be that you should be very, very intentional in what you do this year. Please be very, very intentional. Intentionality means to live a deliberate life. It means to make up your mind to do what you want to do. You are not coerced to do it. You are not pushed to do it, you are not forced to do it, and you are doing it wholeheartedly. You are doing it because you want to achieve what you want to achieve. And that is why you need to be intentional about what, I mean, the goals, the, 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 what, the, the other uh, uh, tips that I've told us before now. You need to be intentional about them. Make up your mind to, to achieve what you want to achieve by being intentional about them this year. Leave nothing to chance and doing everything on purpose. That is what it means to be intentional about life. I want to believe that God on your side, God on my side, if we pay attention to these few tips and of course more, because there could be more, we are going to have a very successful, great year ahead of us. From Broadview with Mercy, I wish you a very great year. I wish you a great success. And I tell you, we are going to rejoice. I would like to hear from you what you think uh, this video did to you. The 
on I mean the comment section is open please leave a comment send us your likes we are encouraged by your prayers and words of encouragement like i said earlier we are encouraged and it tells us that you are there because the truth is we are here because you are there thank you so much until i come your way next time with another interesting topic on broadview with mercy The hustles and bustles of life It's confusing What do you need to do to thrive? What else do you try? How do you face the world and still touch the sky? Bright view Gives you a whole new perspective Oh, bright view Trust me, it's effective Broadview covers you. This is Broadview with Mercy.